Call the police. Someone's stolen my Maytag slash Hoover caddy vac. I can't believe it. It's just, oh, I'm furious. However, I do have a Dyson DC-50 in its place. How did that happen? Hmm. Well, first of all, let me show you a picture of the person who stole my Maytag Hoover Cadivac. There she is, in all her glory, my mother. Now what happened was, I took the uh, Maytag Hoover Cadivac around to mum's house to give it a try, basically. Now, I have to confess that uh, when I make these videos, I do the piece to camera first, and then I go off and use the vacuum cleaner and do all the, uh, and you know, film it in use. Now, as I said to you, in the Caddyvac video, um, I'd never used it. I don't think I'd ever even turned it on. So I was quite mm, vicious, I suppose, to it when I was doing the piece to camera. And I have to hold my hand up and say, actually, I was wrong. That machine was brilliant. It, it is absolutely brilliant. I love it. I love it. As soon as I started to use to use it, I thought, oh my God, this thing is amazing. It was so easy to use. It just glides over, over the carpet, but it does a really good job because it's had such a good brush roll on it. And it cleaned amazingly well. So I, I thought to myself, I know, um, I'm going over to visit mum on Sunday. So I'll take the caddy back with me and I'll use it to clean her house. So I was there vacuuming away and I thought to myself, hang on a minute, this is so easy to use, perhaps an old woman could use it. Now this DC-50 is actually mum's original cleaner. So she basically swapped the caddy back for this DC-50. And the reason she did that is because she finds this incredibly hard to use. And I must admit, I have to agree with her. It's it is a real workout. This this cleaner, even with the the gates open here on the um, active base plate, it is so hard to push. I struggle, and you know, as I've said to you previously, I'm no seven stone weakling, and I get I get knackered using this flipping thing. But the caddy bag was perfect for Mum. I was vacuuming the lounge. I said, "Here, mother, what?" Come and try this. So she came in, she, she tried it, and I said to her, look, do you do you want this? Do you want to keep this one um, to, to use here? And she was, oh, all right then. Yeah, nice. So, perfect, brilliant. You know, so that's another machine I don't have in the house that I can store somewhere else, so that was great. And I didn't expect her to give me this DC-50. Um, I didn't ask for it, and she said, here, take this Dyson with you. I thought, oh, all right then. Um, so now, now I have a DC-50. Um, but I, yeah, I really liked the caddy back. It was such a nice cleaner to use. It wasn't particularly loud. It was really easy to push back and forth. It did a great job as well. It really cleaned well. I just need to get my hands on uh, the tool caddy now. Hopefully Richard will find it at some point. It's in his garage somewhere. And uh, yeah, I've ended up with this DC-50, uh, which is all right, I suppose, as far as Dyson's go. I mean, it does nothing for me from a co collectible point of view. And it's suffered from that usual thing that, that these do, where um, the, the carbon filament on the brush roll has started to wear away. Um, and it's, <laughs> you, you look at it in some places and it's virtually bald. Like this bit here, this point, it's just it's bald. Um, how's this one doing? Oh god, that one's even worse. Oh, it's actually completely gone there. In that section, it is completely vanished. There is nothing left on it. There's always seems to be a problem with these cleaners. Uh, this carbon filament seems to just wear away and just, yeah, vanish over time. It still works fine on carpets, but on, on hard floors, because that's the, that's the point of the black carbon style uh, brushes, is to help you clean hard floors but yeah ugh. so I suppose what I'll do is refurbish this and sell it on Facebook marketplace somebody will buy it I'll sell it for 50 quid and then mum can have the 
money because uh, she's looking after my slash Richard's uh, Maytag slash Hoover Caddyback. There's a lot of slashing going on in, the, in this video. <laughs> Weird. So yeah, there we go. So that's just uh, an end to the story of the Maytag Hoover Caddyback. I just wanted to tell you that uh, I was wrong. Um, it, it's a brilliant cleaner. Uh, I'm still not entirely sure from a build quality point of view it's it's the best ever uh, I don't think it is but uh, yeah from a user point of view and to, to be honest with you sometimes that's all that matters that a vacuum cleaner is really easy to use and works really well so I'm going to go and recondition this now and um, get it sold so I'll see you guys in the next video take care bye